Our top story tonight, the Buffalo Diocese is responding to whistleblower Siobhan O'Connor. And Bishop Malone says he is shocked by O'Connor's statements made to the media yesterday and claims her own emails contradict her. The diocese released some of those emails late last night. News Force John Shantz has O'Connor's response and also another set of emails. Jen? Well, Don, these emails are between O'Connor and diocesan attorneys. This has evolved into a war of words since she spoke to us yesterday after appearing in a 60 Minutes report on the church's alleged cover up of clergy sex abuse claims. During O'Connor's press conference, she didn't shy away from voicing her opinion of the bishop's legal counsel. Keep in mind, all of this comes as yet another priest, Father Michael Geron, is placed on administrative leave following an abuse complaint. News 4 asks Siobhan O'Connor how active a role diocesan attorneys played in directing the bishop. Speaking of attorneys Terry Connors and Lawler Quinlan, she said, Well, it was so active, in fact, that I referred to them as Bishop Connors and Most Reverend Quinlan. A 60 Minutes report featuring O'Connor and other diocesan insiders claims Malone tried to hide certain abuse allegations. We asked if she believed the attorneys were giving Bishop Malone bad advice on the handling of abuse claims. I can only say that there are there are, are good lawyers, like the one by my side, and there are lawyers who I do not trust, like Bishop Connors and Most Reverend Quinlan. News 4 obtained these emails between the attorneys and O'Connor, who left her job as Malone's executive assistant in August. That same month, she writes, quote, Thank you, Lawler, for always being so very kind and responsive to any questions that I sent your way. I always knew that you would offer a helpful, friendly response, and that makes such a difference. In another email, she writes, quote, If I ever write a children's alphabet book about career options, I will be sure that the L entry talks about Lawler the lawyer. We reached out to O'Connor through her attorney, Mitchell Garabedian, for a response to these emails. We have not heard back. But O'Connor did respond to Bishop Malone's publishing of several of her internal emails, which include praise of him and the diocese. O'Connor says, quote, it is quite distressing to realize that the longest statement Bishop Malone has released so far is comprising of my emails to him and my Catholic Center colleagues. There are many things I could say in response to each specific email he referenced or included, but this isn't about me. This was never about me. This is about the survivors, our diocese, our community, and our church. O'Connor told reporters Tuesday of her love for Bishop Malone and the church. She said she leaked the documents to help the victims. This just in from the Buffalo Diocese. In a statement, the diocese refutes a claim in that 60 Minutes report that there are eight or nine priests still in ministry with credible allegations of abuse against them. The diocese says it's unaware of any priests in active ministry with allegations against them. Now, I did ask if this includes priests on administrative leave. I'm still waiting to hear back on that. News 4's Marissa Perlman continues our team coverage tonight and has reaction to the emails the Buffalo Diocese published late last night. Marissa.